The voiced velar approximant is a type of consonantal sound, used in some spoken languages. The symbol in the International Phonetic Alphabet that represents this sound is, and the equivalent X Sampa symbol is M. The consonant is not present in English, but approximates to the sound of a G with the throat kept open. The voiced velar approximant can in many cases be considered the semivocalic counterpart of the close back unrounded vowel. The two are almost identical featurally. And with the non-syllabic diacritic are used in different transcription systems to represent the same sound. In some languages, such as Spanish, the voiced velar approximant appears as an allophone of see below. Some languages have the voiced pre-velar approximant, which is articulated slightly more front compared with the place of articulation of the prototypical voiced velar approximant, though not as front as the prototypical palatal approximant. See that article for more information. Topic. Features Features of the velar approximant Its manner of articulation is approximant, which means it is produced by narrowing the vocal tract at the place of articulation, but not enough to produce a turbulent airstream. The most common type of this approximant is glide or semivowel. The term glide emphasizes the characteristic of movement or glide of from the vowel position to a following vowel position. The term semivowel emphasizes that, although the sound is vocalic in nature, it is not syllabic it does not form the nucleus of a syllable. For a description of the approximate consonant variant used e.g. in Spanish, see above. Its place of articulation is velar, which means it is articulated with the back of the tongue the dorsum at the soft palate. Its phonation is voiced, which means the vocal cords vibrate during the articulation. It is an oral consonant, which means air is allowed to escape through the mouth only. It is a central consonant, which means it is produced by directing the airstream along the center of the tongue, rather than to the sides. The airstream mechanism is pulmonic, which means it is articulated by pushing air solely with the lungs and diaphragm, as in most sounds. Occurrence The sound in Japanese often denoted by W in IPA notation and described as unrounded is actually pronounced with lip compression and is therefore labia velar, albeit with acoustic differences from other labia velar consonants. Topic relation with and some languages have a voiced velar approximant that is unspecified for rounding, and therefore cannot be considered the semivocalic equivalent of either or its rounded counterpart U. Examples of such languages are Catalan, Galician and Spanish, in which the unspecified for rounding voiced velar approximant consonant not semivowel appears as an allophone of Eugenio Martinez Celdron describes the voiced velar approximant consonant as follows, as for the symbol, it is quite evidently inappropriate for representing the Spanish voiced velar approximant consonant. Many authors have pointed out the fact that is not rounded, for example, Pullum and Ladisaw state that the sound in question can be described as a semi-vowel with the properties high, back, and unrounded. They even establish an interesting parallelism, the sound can be regarded as an unrounded w. It is evident, then, that is not an adequate symbol for Spanish. First of all, because it has never been taken into consideration that there is a diphthong in words like paga, pay, vago, lazy, lego, lay, etc., and, secondly, because this sound is rounded when it precedes rounded vowels. Besides, it would be utterly wrong to transcribe the word jugo juice with asterisk kai uo, because the pronunciation of that consonant between two rounded vowels is completely rounded whereas is not, the symbol I have always proposed is, the correlate to the other central approximants in Spanish, b -ed. Martinez Celdron 1991, 1996-47. This coincides with Ball and Raleigh 1999 whose example for the three approximants is the Spanish word abogado lawyer see figure 1. Ball and Raleigh too criticize in a footnote the confusion between these symbols, the difference between an approximant version of the voiced velar fricative and the velar semi-vowel is that the latter requires spread lips and must have a slightly more open articulatory channel so that it becomes if prolonged p. 189, fn. 1. There is a parallel problem with transcribing the palatal approximant. The symbol may also be used when the voiced velar approximant is merely an allophone of the voiced velar fricative, as, compared with, it is more similar to the symbol. 
The X Sampa equivalent of is G underscore O. Note that the symbol may not display properly in all browsers. If that is the case, should be substituted. In broader transcriptions, the lowering diacritic may be omitted altogether, so that the symbol is rendered, i.e. as if it represented the corresponding fricative. See also Index of phonetics articles Voiceless velar approximant Notes